everyone, it's me, Amelia Gearhart. What's a Gearhart? It's here on my shirt, yeah, it's a symbol. And it means that you love learning how things work. What kind of things? Well, I like to learn about science, technology, engineering, math, and trades, or for short, STEM and trades. STEM and trades are so cool. They're all around us, and they're so important. So come on, let's learn about STEM and trades together. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party. Science is exploring something new. Technology is the digital devices all around us. Engineering is what you use to design things. And math is all the numbers and reasoning you need to do almost everything. Trades are specialized, hands-on jobs. STEM and trades are careers that you can have. Yeah, and they make lots of money. <laughs> so let's go. Let's learn about STEM and trades. Let roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the okay, you will not believe the robot kit that I found online. It's a unicorn robot. Ta-da! It's so beautiful. I can't wait to put it together. Yeah, hey. Do you know what jobs use robots? All kinds of jobs. Scientists study robots and make them better and smarter. Technologists program robots. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Engineers design all the parts and pieces of the robot and they use a lot of math. And tradespeople put robots together and fix them. I wanna work with robots, don't you? Yeah. Well, we're gonna pretend to be scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and tradespeople today with this awesome robot unicorn kit. Lit. Yeah. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. Robot kits are so fun. Sometimes they're a lot of work, but I always feel so proud when I get to put them together. And then you get to have a robot to do your bidding. He's <laughs> so silly. All right, first, let's pretend to be engineers. If you were an engineer, how would you design this robot unicorn? Hmm, let's see. First, it would need some legs, yep. And then it would need a body and a head and a tail and a horn because of course it's a unicorn after all. Okay, let's open it up and see if we were right. All right. Wow, there are a lot of pieces here. Oh, look, I found the head. It's got a unicorn horn on it. We were right about that. This looks like the tail. Ooh, pretty purple. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I wonder what's in this box. Oh, I know, these are the motors. Yeah, do you know what a motor is? A motor is a part of a machine that makes it move, yeah. Motors are everywhere, in your car, your toys, your washing machine, lots of places. This is called a servo motor. They're used a lot in robots. You definitely need motors if you want your robot to do your bidding. Motors are so cool. Do you know who designs motors? Engineers, of course. Mechanical engineers design machines and motors, and a motor is a type of machine. I'm actually a mechanical engineer. I love designing machines. Okay, let's see what's in this blue box. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. This is the computer. You need a computer in your robot so that you can program it. Hey, do you know what a program is? Well, let me tell you. A program is a set of instructions that you give to a robot or computer, but you have to learn to write in the computer or robot's language. It's like a secret code. It's so fun. Someone who writes computer or robot code is called a programmer. That's a technology job. You know, I bet they have lots of fun writing code all day and seeing what a computer or robot can do. That's the best part of having a robot, is that you can program them to do your bidding. He's <laughs> so silly. All right, I think we have all the pieces, the motor, the computer, the wires to connect everything. What are we missing? Oh yeah, the instructions. Can't forget those. You know, when you learn to follow instructions, you're learning how to do a trade. Yeah, tradespeople have to take all kinds of instructions from engineers to put things together. They've gotta be really patient and read carefully. Engineers can learn to design better by building things too. It's so much fun working with your hands and building something like this awesome robot unicorn. Yay! Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. All right, I have a little secret. I already put one of these together. It did take quite a long time, but it was so worth it.
What do you think we should name her? Hmm, how about Rosie the Robot Unicorn? <laughs> I love it! Hi, Rosie! All right, we did our trade job and we put the robot together. Now, let's be scientists and explore what this thing can do. Scientists use observation and questions to learn about things. Okay, so we already know this robot has motors so it can move, but how does it move? Hmm, let's see. So there's a motor here on this wheel. That must make it go. And I see a motor on this part. Oh, so that must mean the head can move too. Wow, that's so cool. I saw on the box that the horn looks like it lights up. So I think I know what that does. So this robot rolls around and moves its head up and down. Awesome! Great job being a scientist and making observations. Now let's talk about technology jobs. Technology jobs like programming are so handy and fun. Yeah, if you want to write programs, you can study computer science. That's a technology job. It's so fun. Okay, now it's time to program this robot. All right, Rosie, are you ready to be programmed? Okay, here we go. We can use a smartphone to program Rosie. Rosie speaks a special programming language called Black Code. It's really easy to learn for beginners. It's so easy it can be done on a tablet or smartphone. All right, let's take a look. What should we program? Let's see what moves we can put into Rosie. Okay, so we need to move forward. That's good. Um, and then how about we move backward? Nice. Okay, let's do that too. Um, then let's check this show option. What does that mean? Um, hmm, okay, we can make the unicorn light up different colors. How about pink for two seconds and then blue? Um, maybe yellow flashing. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. Um, what else do we want to do? Um, hmm, how about we make it flash even faster? How about 20 times per second? Hmm. Hey, if we flash the light at 20 times per second for two seconds, I wonder how many times that's going to flash. Hmm, oh, I know, we can use math. So two times 20 is, hmm, 40. That's right, that's so cool. Programmers use math sometimes. Math is so useful. I love math and I hope that you learn to love math too. Math is like its own special skill, just like a sport. If you practice enough, you can do all kinds of cool things with math. All STEM and trade jobs use math, so practice your math and you can have one of those jobs too. Let's roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. All right, we have our program. Let's see how it goes. Oh, sorry, I should probably clean this stuff out first. <laughs> Okay, you ready, Rosie? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> she almost fell off the table. Maybe I should edit the program. Here we go. Let me just take that one out. And wow. Look, her light is lighting up. It went pink, blue, flashing yellow, and flashing green. How cool. I love programming robots. I love telling the robot what to do and then seeing how it does it. It's so fun. Okay, let's try something a little different. Let's try this execute action. I wonder what that means. Okay, um, let's pick happy. That sounds cute. And then I want the horn to line up again because that was so cool. Let's do lots of different colors this time. Um, maybe yellow, let's pick another flash, yeah. Um, that one goes for two seconds, that's what I want. Um, let me delete this other one and then put two seconds on the top and just copy that over and let's see some different colors. Uh, there we go. Um, I want this to repeat, so let's see how to do that. Um, here, oh, this looks like it, yeah. We're gonna put that in, repeat, and stick our program in and voila okay let's see how this goes <gasps> ah that's the happy we got our lights flashing different colors oh my goodness it did it wow <laughs> oh it's repeating i forgot we told it to repeat it's gonna do it again oh that is so cool oh right it's just, i think it's just gonna keep repeating until i tell it to stop so let me tell it to stop that was so neat. I feel like I can make this robot do anything. <laughs> hmm. Hey, 
I wonder if we can program Rosie to run across the table really fast. Let's try. Hmm, so what we want to do is we want her to go forward and we want her to go fast. No, no, faster. Yeah, yeah, even faster, maybe 2.6 seconds. Um, sure, why not? Um, okay, so let's make this a short program. Um, let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna move her over here. Give her plenty of room. You ready, Rosie? Off. Oh wait, no, we need a little passenger for this one. I have a little friend that we can put on Rosie. It's a little baby Amelia. She's so cute. Okay, let's put her on here. Get her buckled up nice and tight. Are you ready, Amelia? All right, get ready for the ride of your life here. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> ah, oh my goodness, that was so cool. You can tell Rosie exactly what to do and she'll do it. That's so fun. I can't wait to write more programs with Rosie. As you can see, programming is so easy. I bet you could be a computer scientist or programmer. Or you could be a tradesperson that builds things. Or you could be an engineer and decide a, design a machine like this. Whatever you want to be when you grow up, just know that I, Amelia Gearhart, believe in you. Thank you so much for watching this video about robots and programming. If you want to see more of my videos, search for my name, Amelia Gearhart. That's A-M-E-L-I-A-G-E-A-R-H-E-A-R-T. Good job! All right, bye friends!